Salutations and good morrow everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in to look at patch 12.2. Now this came out a few days ago, right before the weekend. And over the weekend, they did actually have a free Steam weekend. So I wanted to hold off on making this video while people were getting in and being able to experience the game and having this update already pushed through for them. Because if you guys were over on Steam, you got to play it for free and that is pretty freaking cool for those of you who hadn't been able to try Grounded yet. But let's hop in, let's read through the major issues that were fixed in this update. This is a smaller update guys. There's a lot of bug fixing and stuff like that So if you guys aren't interested in that um, This isn't really gonna be a whole lot of gameplay in this one So just hit that like button in your guys way out But otherwise let's hop in and let's check out these bug fixes that they went ahead and pushed through So it says right here. Thank you all for your patience We've just released patch 12.2 back on February 11th uh, So be on the lookout for it and install it when you get the chance uh, Please let us know if you continue to experience any further issues if you guys do want to send in any other issues that you're running into There's an issue track that's right here you can click on that or if you guys come and check these out uh, normally at the bottom they have all sorts of different links as well uh, but if we go over to the issue tracker this will go through and show everything that's currently going on with grounded and we'll go through a lot of these things here in just a little bit but let's go back over and let's check out the new update that came out for 12.2 Okay, so major issues that were fixed. The Splinter Master Achievement retroactively unlocks for players who have fulfilled the achievement requirements during the End of the Wood public test. The Splinter Master Achievement, in order to get that one, you have to craft Tier 3 arrows with the Splinters. You need Nat Fuzz, or the Dust Mite Fuzz, and Splinters in order to get it, in order to make that recipe. The Shrinky and the Brain Achievement retroactively unlocks for clients. This is when you get to Tier 10 in the... Um, in in the research but tab the the brain power that's what it is the brain power inside of the research stations when you're researching different items and you get to level 10 you unlock the shrinky in the brain achievement uh, milk molar upgrade values properly reapply after reloading the game health stamina food water upgrades were reverting back to their starting values often after loading your save game so thankfully that got fixed a uh, weapon model should no longer be invisible when equipping them so guys we're gonna have this thing right here where those invisible things that were happening inside of your inventory where things are just disappearing that should be stopping now if that continues let the development team know okay walls and roofs no longer end up invisible for clients after being built so that's good because if you're building a base and you're putting items into it the last thing you want it to do is to turn invisible all right crash fixes fix various crashes related to these ba to base building so once again another thing with base building they are focusing a lot of that because one of the key points of grounded is base building so it's cool that they have that now fixed all right other issues armor no longer visually fits incorrectly on some teams so the armor now fits right the craft many text in the crafting menu properly shows how many you can craft when using the materials from the nearby storage Nats will now render further than 30 centimeters away on lower graphic settings on Xbox One, making the aim small achievement less impossible to obtain in those scenarios. So um, the aim small achievement is when you kill a flying creature from over 30 centimeters away. So AKA if you peg a gnat from over 30 centimeters in the way in the game. Uh, now with a lower graphic setting, it makes it hard for you to see further away. They lower the, the field of view for your character. So now that they have adjusted that, so you can actually see them from further away, that's even better because that's, it's not as much of a graphic hit on your computer or in your Xbox, um, but you're still able to get this achievement. All right, aphids run up grass blades again when scared. They stopped running up grass blades, but now they do once again run up grass blades instead of just running away like the um, like the scarab beetles did. Resource surveyor performance improved for clients. Night bass music will play again when you're near your base at nighttime. And the dandelion element in the game HUD properly reappears after loading a game with a dandelion tuft equipped, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, bug fixes, Xbox One. We got some crash fixes here for Xbox One. Reduce peak memory usage when loading a game in multiplayer, which was causing out of memory crashes prior to loading in. So this is going to fix those multiplayer crashes, making it so you guys on Xbox can't play anymore uh, in multiplayer. So that's going to go ahead and fix that. Now we are going to go over to the issue tracker and we're going to be going over a couple of these that are major issues that I want to point out for you guys. So uh, this one right here, the game crashing when trying to load multiplayer games on Xbox consoles, that just recently got fixed. Uh, Xbox One crash loading single player multiplayer game. Once again, they're investigating that one, but that also sounds like it got fixed. Investigating colored rectangles are reappearing on the right half of the screen. Um, I haven't seen this happen in a while. I'm not sure if that one got fixed yet, but it is um, getting worked on and looked into. 
importing saves from Steam to Xbox Game Pass or PC Microsoft Store aren't working correctly. Uh, they're looking into that as well. Uh, there's a workaround for some players that are reporting that autosave feature is not working properly. Um, this has been on this board for a long time. That autosave kind of sometimes just doesn't work. The workaround is just manually saving your game. I would suggest you guys go through and manually save your game about once an hour anyway when you're playing, just to make sure, because within an hour of grounded, you can make a lot of progress. And if you were going to lose that, that would really stink. All right, so investigating some players on PC are reporting high ping. Uh, that could be internet connection, but they're just still reporting that. Um, I will say inside of multiplayer, it has gotten better. Uh, some uh, players are crashing when alt tab and not in main focus or game is not main focus yep that's going to happen um, depends on the memory usage of your computer and then grounded is crashing on launch that still happens from time to time for me but those are the major issues that are going on right now within the game uh, there's not really a whole lot more to be said about like some super major issues that are going on now if you guys want to go through and report this is how you guys go through and actually report bugs okay so you go through you contact obsidian.net uh, support at obsidian.net and you put in all this information now guys when you're reporting anything make sure you are very 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 clear on how you want to report things and what you are reporting and including screenshots if possible because that way they know how to repeat what you're doing they may even reach out to you and ask you for your save so there's a lot of things that they are working on fixing there's even a lot of things that they are working on bringing into the game in the future including all of these items that you're seeing on here one that i would like to point out the most is this ant pheromone control and um creature ant queen that are going to be coming to the game soon so hopefully you'll be seeing those in the next couple updates here guys beware that the next update will probably be sometime in may if not june so just keep your guys's hands um, excited be ready to go and don't worry the grounded team is really really working as hard as they can to get out as many updates as they can but please don't be discouraged but thank you guys all so much for watching these videos i hope you guys liked it if you did please hit that like button for me let me know you guys want to see more also if you guys could please make sure you guys comment down below with things that you're excited to see in the future or if any of these bugs are still happening for you i'd love to know about that as well so i can try to reach out to the development team and let them know and also guys please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one